So let me provide some background information on how this all came about. After the 2008 crisis, many governments, including the US government, but also including European governments, bailed out large financial institutions by injecting capital so that um, debt defaults would be avoided. In Europe, this happened in Greece, Portugal, and also in Iceland. Uh, the UK uh, crafted a bank rescue practice at, uh, package itself, which totaled about 500 billion sterling, which is a, just a huge amount, especially uh, given today's exchange rate, if you think about it that way. Um, even today, Lloyds Bank and our RBS, the Royal Bank of Scotland, remain partly owned by the UK government. So what happened was that taxpayers footed the bill uh, for uh, the financial institutions and creditors, including bondholders, were paid. So the European Parliament wanted to avoid this going forward. And so they thought about the issues and ultimately in 2013 passed uh, new, new legislation. It was called the Bank Recovery and Resolution Directive, BRRD. The bail and provisions in that legislation shift the burden of possible future bailouts of financial institutions from taxpayers over to the creditors and ultimately the equity holders in those institutions. So under that legislation, uh, the regulators in Europe in the European Economic Area Resolution Authorities, their regulators, um, have the right to write down debts of these financial institutions, to convert their debt into equity, and to impose temporary stays on contractual termination rights. The goal of a bail-in is to recapitalize the financial institution using its own resources and its existing constituencies and not rely on taxpayers. Austria became the first country to use bail-in powers this year when it used them to recapitalize a bank in April.